If you were one of the thousands of people that went out and voted for a block producer candidate to run the EOS network, first of all, congratulations, because you're a part of this historic moment. But what happens if you don't re-vote and just let your vote sit? Well, you'll be subject to something called voter decay. Allow me to explain. Now, in order to prevent voter apathy and ensure that people are always voting for the best block producer candidates, uh, EOS will actually decay your vote power over time. Now, what this basically means is that on a weekly basis, your votes will be slightly less powerful than they were the week before. So the third week that you voted your tokens, your tokens will be slightly less powerful than when you voted them the second week. And what this ultimately boils down to is that if you leave your tokens voted for a year and never re-vote, your token power will be cut in half after that one year period. So how can you avoid this? How can you make sure that your tokens are always at max voting power? Well, fortunately, there's a way. Now, EOS has a built-in way to allow you to avoid vote decay. Now, all you have to do is re-vote, and that process is the exact same process that you did when you voted the first time. So go through that same voting process again, vote for the same or different block producers that you voted for the first time, and your votes will always remain at max power as long as you vote at least once a week. The beauty of this vote decay feature is it allows you an opportunity to reevaluate who you're voting for. If you voted for, say, 10 block producers last time, and you realize now that five aren't following through on their promises or aren't listening to you, you can unvote them and vote for other block producers instead. It's an amazing process that should allow us to keep the EOS governance system dynamic and make sure that only the best block producers are voted in to run the EOS network.